Next news uh, suggested by Shubham. Thank you in Shikpura, India. And Shubham, you can help correct my pronunciation of that. Parents refuse to donate kidney to dying daughter, say she's a girl. So uh, this teenager who was doing great in school, um, totally healthy and happy one day, all of a sudden falls sick, gets taken to the hospital where it's discovered both of her kidneys are completely failing. If anyone knows anything about kidney issues, I have uh, kidney issues. Um, typically you get to go through stages of kidney disease before you hit kidney failure, but no, she just, boom, hits full kidney failure, both kidneys. Uh, she's dying and she absolutely needs a transplant. So her parents, they go to her parents and they say, your daughter's dying, she needs one of your kidneys. Uh, and they say, but who would want to give her a kidney? She's just a girl. So they they can't afford to keep her in that hospital. They take her to a local government hospital. Um, and they don't try to take advantage of any of the programs available for transplants or anything of that nature. Um, and she, uh, the update over this is that she died uh, Wednesday when? In, the, in the government hospital uh, battling for her life. Okay, what the fuck? Like, I don't understand. Where, where does this come from? She's a girl, so she doesn't... Like, wait, where does the mother instinct, all that stuff that we hear about, love my child, like, save my child, like, is, where does all that biological father, mother... I guess if the child has a vagina, it's worthless. I don't understand because the mother sat there with the father and is basically like, yeah, she's a girl. I'm not going to give my kidney to her. Wait, what the hell? Where does this, where does this mentality come from? I don't understand. Shapam. I mean, I mean, this is this is uh, not very uncommon. This is actually a very common mentality in many rural parts in India. Sexism is a huge issue okay, in many we, rural parts. Okay, okay, but we have sexism, and we this is yeah. something beyond sexism. Like this is like I understand <laughs> that I understand I understand that we have sexism in India. Okay, yeah, but I've never I haven't heard sexism to the level like oh my child is dying. She's a girl. Oh, she's a girl. It's okay. Like that is that is not just sexism. That what the fuck is that? Like okay, when you say oh. when you say this is normal, are you just saying sexism or is normal or this level of sex is this level of sexism normal? This level of sexism, I mean, it used to be normal, I mean, but there have been laws to avoid levels of sexism, like female infanticide, that was a thing, and th there are laws to prevent it now, so it doesn't happen very openly, but I would say in many rural areas, this is common, like, if the child born is a girl, is if the born baby is a girl, then they will just dump her in somewhere. They will dump the baby somewhere so that she dies. I mean, there yeah. have been cases like this. Okay. Um, it's so, horrible. So, so when you say in, in India something is illegal, are there laws? I mean, in India, there's a huge difference. There's a huge gap between just having laws and actually yes. executing the law. Like there are a lot of laws in India that nobody really follows and there's no consequences to following them. Uh, and I think in that we have another story today that touches on that. But I mean, the, but if, you, if you say the laws, the laws are good, but the police themselves don't follow the laws. So whom will they arrest? Okay, is it, would it be, okay, so when you say child, uh, when, when, when it comes to killing a child, I've, th there's a lot of laws against that. But what about not giving, the, would it be a punishment for this? Not taking. No. I don't think there will be a punishment for this. That's the bad thing. I don't think so. Well, I mean, someone, um, someone we'll can report. Our chat is saying something, um, and I want to know what you think about it, guys. Uh, it's terrible, but you can't force someone to donate an organ. And I agree. I mean, he's right. I don't think that you can force somebody to give an organ. But as a as a parent, speaking as a parent. I, you couldn't get my kidney out of me fast enough to give it to one of my children, you know? Like, I just, I can't imagine not trying to save your own child. Wait, what I, do don't, you guys think? I don't understand. Of course we can't, we're not saying, I mean, th that was not the alternative that we were, dis like, <sighs> that's not what we were discussing. Um, wait, so, um, where, where was the treatment, was what was being offered was to get a kidney from the parents? 
Was that, that was a treatment being, being uh, that's what was told to them, right? right? Like, so, we can save your daughter if you donate your kidney. Right, right, right. Well, nobody, nobody, I mean, I wasn't su suggesting that, we weren't suggesting that they, that there should be a law that you have to donate your kidney, right? But, right. but I guess we did kind of say that when I asked if there's going to be a punishment for it, but the punishment is not for why you're not donating your kidney. I think the punishment would be for... Well, if you're saying not this, saving your, no, like not you, saving your daughter. Yeah, no. I mean, if you is what you're saying publicly that it's a girl, so we're not gonna treat her. So even even if if even if this can, you're just shitty parents, right? Like I I think in another country, child service, you know, you know, child protection services will come and visit and like, okay, how else are you treating this uh, this girl? Because she's a she's a girl, right? Like, if you're willing to say something like that, I don't think this is the best. This is the best environment for this girl to be raised in. Like, you're you're not going to give her proper education, things that she needs from her parents, right? So maybe if she's not, maybe if you can't even can't have punish them for not donating your kidney, I still think that this child should be separated from these parents because because of what they said, because the reason. Well, unfortunately, she died. Oh yeah. She died. Yeah. When this Should there I was know. this guy from California who offered to donate his kidney to the girl. And what did but, they say? Uh, I don't know what to say, but I know that there was this guy named Charlie Norden or something. He read this article in the Statesman and he said he sent a Facebook message that mm. he read the article and he wants to donate his kidney for the girl. But she died, so I don't think so they accepted the offer. What, what's the source of this amount of sexism in India? Is it Hinduism or is it culture? Or is it both? Is okay. it a mix? Oh, there, there are controversial stuff in Hinduism about sexism. Like, there are powerful women in Hinduism, but there are also statements in Hinduism which say that women are, like, property of their fathers. And in absence of their fathers, then there are elder siblings and if she's married away then her husbands when you say they're powerful women in hinduism you mean in the mythology yeah in the right. mythology so in so the mythology said, and in in some statements wait not many but there are some statements we say so you can find both uh, a re new scripture that shows that women are could be powerful but you could also point to yeah. some places where women actually are property of man actually isn't one of the most famous stories in hinduism the part where uh, I forgot the deity's name, but I think I don't know which deity it was. But wasn't it like he said he abandoned his he, his wife because people were rumoring that he's been sleeping with someone else, and he even though he didn't know if it was true, just for for the sake of saving not being embarrassed, he abandoned her. Like I don't know. There are many many stories in Hinduism. Like yeah. Yeah, every locality has one for themselves as well. Wow. Okay. <laughs> All right, what's it? Oh, the top comment is extremely long, but I'm going to read it because it got 161 um, re response. This. Let me see actually the second comment. Oh, no, the second comment is by Jesus on the Internet. He is saying, I hope sh I hope she recovers. Thanks to the kidney uh, kindness of strangers. Um, OK, well, too late. She didn't. Um, somebody. Oh, yeah, I think this is a, he's pointing to some an article. Uh, people trying to support her, but it's too late. Uh, the, John is saying, well, with story after story like this, I'm starting to come to re uh, realization. I don't think I care about culture. I think we need to split the term, one term for we eat this kind of food. Oh yeah, I actually agree with that. There's two different meanings with culture. I think we explained this a lot of, many times in this channel. The, the definition of culture when it comes to food you know clothing dance art that kind of stuff that's a beautiful thing that needs to be shared that needs to be spread that's a, but the other definition of culture when it comes to values and way of life then there are some if that in that definition then the, some cultures are superior definitely superior to other cultures and some cultures are inferior and i could say in this case indian culture is inferior and inferior cultures need to die Okay, for the sake of humanity. Okay, but when it comes to dance and food and you know everything else, 
that's just fun people sharing people enjoying each other's culture that definition of culture the more of that the more diversity in, diversity in that the better but when it comes to definition of culture that is about values only the best values should survive the rest should die but i'm talking about ideas by the way not people when i say die okay don't say like oh i mean things so, so and so people have to die um so, uh, and the third comment is saying, if my kids needed my heart, you could you could rip it out. I think that would be illegal. But Ali, um, is there anything in the YouTube live chat you want me to read? Ali? Yeah, I don't see anything tagged Atheist Republic, so I'm going to see. Yeah, uh, Beach, Beach was asking if dowry is still legal in India. So I just want to uh, reply that uh, it's not legal anymore i mean there are laws against dowry but it's still followed okay commonly followed atheists are under attack in many places if they were christians their voices would be heard if they were jews their voices would be heard if they were muslims their voices would be heard but they are atheists and not many seem to be listening let's make it difficult for them to ignore us we have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.